integers addition of integers adding integers we have been doing additions right from kindergarten then why do we have to learn about addition again because with integers it's a little different sometimes integer numbers can have a positive or a negative sign and the sign matters let's learn how to consider the sign of the numbers and add integers there can be different possible conditions both the numbers may be positive both the numbers may be negative one number may be positive and the other may be negative one number may be positive or negative and the other may be zero let's look at each case one by one case 1 both the numbers are positive just do regular addition add plus 12 and plus 20 is equal to plus 12 plus plus 20 is equal to plus 32 remember if both the numbers are positive their sum will always be positive add plus 56 and plus 27 is equal to plus 56 plus plus 27 is equal to plus 83 plus 125 and plus 101 is equal to plus 125 plus plus 101 is equal to plus 226 case 2 both the numbers are negative ignore the sign add the numbers and give the sum a negative sign add minus 46 and minus 25 is equal to minus 46 plus minus 25 is equal to minus 46 plus 25 is equal to minus 71 remember if both the numbers are negative their sum will always be negative add Minus twelve and minus eighty nine is equal to minus twelve plus minus eighty nine is equal to minus twelve plus eighty nine is equal to minus one hundred and one. Add minus one hundred and twenty four and minus one hundred and fifty is equal to minus one hundred and twenty four plus minus one hundred and fifty is equal to minus 124 plus 150 is equal to minus 274 case 3 one number is positive and the other is negative subtract the smaller number from the larger one and give the sign of the larger one add minus 50 and plus 34 so we write the statement minus 50 Plus plus thirty four. Since one number is negative and one is positive, we subtract the smaller from the larger and give the sign of the larger. As the larger number is fifty, the sign will be the negative one. So we get the answer as sixteen, and the sign is negative. So minus sixteen is the answer. One hundred and twelve and minus ninety five. So we write the statement one hundred and twelve plus minus ninety five. Since one number is negative and one is positive, we subtract the smaller from the larger and give the sign of the larger. As the larger number is one hundred and twelve, the sign will be the positive one. So we get the answer is seventeen and the sign is positive. So Plus seventeen is the answer. Minus one hundred and thirty-four and plus two hundred and seventy-five. So we write the statement minus one hundred and thirty-four plus plus two hundred and seventy-five. Since one number is negative and one is positive, we subtract the smaller from the larger and give the sign of the larger. As the larger number is two hundred and seventy-five, the sign will be the positive one. So we get the answer as one hundred and forty-one, and the sign is positive. So 
plus 141 is the answer. Minus 222 and plus 163. So we write the statement minus 222 plus plus 163. Since one number is negative and one is positive, we subtract the smaller from the larger and give the sign of the larger. As the larger number is 222, the sign will be the negative one. So we get the answer 59 and the sign is negative. So minus 59 is the answer. Case 4. One number is positive or negative and the other number is 0. If we add or subtract 0, the answer is the number itself. Add minus 49 and 0 is equal to minus 49 plus 0 is equal to minus 49. Add plus 91 and 0 is equal to plus 91 plus 0 is equal to plus 91. Let's revise in short. Case 1, both the numbers are positive. Just do regular addition. Case 2, both the numbers are negative. Ignore the sign, add the numbers and give the sum a negative sign. Case 3, one number is positive and the other is negative. Subtract the smaller number from the larger one and give the sign of the larger one. Case 4, one number is positive or negative and the other is 0. If we add or subtract 0, the answer is the number itself. Can you add the positive and negative integers now? Yes!